Greetings and salutations, friends. I have struggled with this build since Starfield first came out. I have built this ship, tweaked it, trashed it, rebuilt it, retweaked it, explored the cosmos with it, retweaked it some more, trashed it again, rebuilt it in New Game Plus, retweaked it again, and then finally sold it to the dealer at the Stroud Eklund Star Yards. Then one fateful day, I returned to that said same star yard to build Mother, my Stroud Eklund only flying saucer, which you should definitely check out by the way. And there she was, the WCS or Wolf Chahi ship Hera Quarry. After hundreds of hours, like Seymour in Futurama, Hera was still there, waiting for me to return, refusing to fade into obscurity refusing to become a distant memory, demanding her day in the sun. And so I had to give Hera the spotlight. She is the little ship that could. She's the ship that wants so bad to be a B-Wing, but is unfortunately bound by the limitations of the Starfield ship builder. Despite all of that, she's still a beautiful ship. So without further adieu, I am the wolf, I got my coffee, Let's build a spaceship. But before we immerse ourselves in the build, let's take a moment to look at all of the parts that you will not be able to find at your outpost. Starting with the Commander 500 Bridge by Hope Tech. This can be found in Hope Town on Palvo in the Velo system. Next is this Scanjammer Multi Frequency, which you can find at the Red Mile on Parima 3, Parima 3 in the Parima system, this Fusor DC-403 reactor, and the Poseidon DT-230 engines can be obtained at the Stroud Eklund showroom on Neon in the Voli system, and then finally these Nova Galactic 20 landing gears can be found in New Homestead on Titan in the Soul system. So without, with that out of the way, let's uh, delete all of this and get into the build proper. So I am going to start with my landing bay, and that is going to be this NG6 landing bay. That will go right there. And next will be a couple of habitats. I want this Hope Tech 2x1, and I am going to make this a captain's quarters. And that will go right there, hanging off the end, just like that. And next, on top of that, I will add this Hope Tech companionway. And I'm going to use the companionway over the storeroom because the inside is much more interesting looking, in my opinion. And that is actually going to move back to there. Perfect. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add the cockpit to this. And that is the Commander 500 bridge that I just mentioned. That guy will live right there. And then I'm going to go to the structure tab. And I am going to grab this Deimos cowling. And this guy is going to go right there. Next, I am going to see what is next on my tab cargo. So I'm going to grab this 10ST shielded cargo hold. And this guy is going to flip and he's going to go right back there underneath just like that and next i want a docker and that's going to be the Deimos slim docker which is almost the only docker that i ever use because it's it just it looks so good and then finally off the back end here i'm going to add a couple of structural pieces if i can get to the structure tab i'm going to come down here to the Hope Tech Nose, the Hope Tech Nose B. I'm going to flip that, and that one's going to go right there. Copy, put another one right there. And then I'm going to go down a little bit further because down here somewhere I have some thrusters. And these little guys are just going to go here, here, and here for cosmetic looks. And that is the cockpit and main body of the ship done. So now we're going to start connecting the wings and all of the other jazz. So 
let's start with I should go back to my structure tab because I want to see I want to establish my width so that I have sort of a uh, skeleton to work off of so I'm just gonna add a bunch of these engine bracers and I'm going to add until my until I have seven errors down there in the right hand corner at the bottom instead of six there we go and that tells me that I've exceeded maximum length width and height so I'm gonna delete that one and that's how wide the ship is going to be next I'm going to come here and I'm going to start working on the midsection of the ship and I'm going to start with um, what do I want to start with I want to start with a grav drive and I want the J52 gamma and that guy will go right there and then I want my reactor and that's gonna be this Fusor DC 403 I mentioned that guy is going to live there next off of this this aft end of the grav drive I want to add I want to add I want to add I'm looking for cargo tab I probably passed it once already I want this a big cargo hold the one that holds the most that guy is going to go right there and live there from now on and then on top I'm gonna to go to my structure tab because I need to add some structure before I can add other parts so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add this guy I'm gonna flip him to the aft configuration he's gonna go there and I'm gonna add copy and flip so I can have one off the front there next I want I'm come down here is it Nova that I'm looking for yes I'm looking for this guy here this Nova Cowling 2L and I want the SA version that points to the aft direction that guy will go there and then flip copy and flip he will go right there perfect now I can go to my engine tab and add my engines and I am going to put this one Poseidon DT 230 here and then copy and you can go here and then I'm actually gonna copy you and you I'm actually gonna flip you so that you can go here I'm gonna take you and flip you and the reason for flipping those is just so I have this angled bit here on the outside and then so that I have the angled bit on the inside but this part that's connected looks a little better connected than if I were to have it this way it just it doesn't look like it's connecting correctly that's just my opinion um, that's just the way I do it so you can do whatever you think looks best there so next I think I will add another structural piece or another couple of structural pieces maybe I think I'll take this Deimos belly flip it to the aft config and he will go right under there underneath that cargo hold next I want to add this Deimos hull a that guy will go there and then I want to add a braking engine I want to add this Deimos braking engine right there and then I want to add a couple of bumpers we're gonna put one there and then blip that guy's gonna live there and then let's see we're doing pretty good I think I might go to my gears tab and add my landing gears and that the that's these Nova Galactics I mentioned and we're gonna have that one go there then we're going to copy him flip him so that he's has sort of that mid configuration that in between configuration he's gonna attach right there then we'll copy another one and flip him will will you up oh, stupid fingers again I got stupid fingers okay stupid finger syndrome so let me select this flip flip there we go I want to flip you to the wide configuration and you're gonna go right there under the wing and now that I've done that I can start adding some more wing stuff so I'm gonna add copy copy do I want to just add three I think I'll add four for now and we'll see where that takes us one two 
three, four. I might wind up deleting some of this stuff, um, depending on how, if I get that too wide error or whatever. So, um, what is my error? Ship does not, oh yeah, I need a fuel tank. So let's get that guy and I'm just going to use, you can of course use any fuel tank you like. I like this one here. I just like the look of it and it holds a lot of fuel. It holds 550, so that's nice. That guy will go right there. And next, I want to add some other structural pieces and some weapons, probably. Some shields and all of that jazz. So let's see, let's go ahead and add the shield. This guy is going to go right here. On it's gonna attach to the grav drive there. And then there's another structural piece I want to add. And this is purely for looks. And it's just in keeping with the image that I based this design off of. That is going to go right there. Perfect, perfect. It's coming together. So next I want to add another couple of structural pieces for some weapons. So I want to add, let's see, there's a Nova Wing gonna flip that to the starboard side and I'll put one here and then copy and put one under there and uh, this is definitely gonna end up being too long but let's uh, let's take it step by step here I want this weapon mount but I want to attach it to this Stroud mid bracer that guy will go there we'll select both of them and bring them select both of them and bring them there we go and now I'm too wide, so I'm going to delete that, select both of these, bring them. And now we are not too wide. These are too long now though, so we're going to delete those and bring these over to here. That looks pretty darn good. Next, I'm going to add all of my weapons, so let's come down here. And you can, of course, use any weapons that you wish, whatever weapons suit your play style and your preferences. So I'm going to put two of these missile launchers, these at Adolotl, 280C missile launchers. Um, I'm just guessing on the pronunciation there, so I hope I didn't butcher it too badly. Then I'm going to add these Blaze P2GWs. Oh, I had him. He went to his home and I moved. Oh my gosh, I'll never be able to do that again. Come on, go. Oop. Oh, I, oh, oh. Okay, everyone. Watch me struggle. There we go. <laughs> Watch me struggle. It's just pure entertainment, isn't it? Come on, go to your home. Are you too good for your home? There we go. Sheesh, oh man, okay. So I know you can click and attach. I haven't figured out how to do it with controller yet though. I can do it with mouse keyboard, but I don't really feel like flipping to mouse keyboard right now. So I am just gonna let myself struggle. So we're gonna add four of those lasers. And then um, I want to add a Gauss gun, this MKE 9A auto Gauss gun. I want one here and then one. You can see how nicely that fits under there without any glitching or anything. So that's nice. I am going to assign the weapons now. So laser, Gauss gun, and uh, missile launcher. There we go. Things are nominal, but my credit balance is not zero which means there's something i'm missing oh wait first of all i did i made a mistake here i did not want to use that structural piece i actually wanted to use i actually wanted to use this guy right here this shroud cap b i want to flip him to the starboard side and he is going to go there so that's something there's still, I'm still missing something because my credit total, my credit balance is too high. So I'm going to figure out what I'm missing and then I will cut the video and come back when I figure out what it is. Okay, friends, I figured out what it was that I was missing and that was the scan jammer. And that guy is going to flip. No, well, you can't flip him, but he will automatically flip if you come under here. There you go. We're going to tuck him up under there next to the cargo hold and he'll be nice and hidden. We won't tell anybody he's there. That'll be our little secret. And there you go. There is the WCS Heracori. 
So let's exit out of this and get into the color sliders. Okay friends, here are our color sliders, starting with this green color, which puts the hue slider about halfway between the O and the R of the color 2 tab up there. Saturation is just a few clicks away from all the way to the right. And then brightness is almost halfway above the fifth color squared down here at the bottom. And then the blue puts the hue slider about halfway between the O and the L of the color 3 tab. Saturation is placed just under the number 3 of the color 3 tab. And then brightness is set about halfway above the 7th color square down here at the bottom. And then lastly is this gray color, which simply puts the hue and the saturation all the way to the left. And then it puts the brightness halfway between the 6th and 7th color squares down here at the bottom. So that is our color sliders. Now let's exit out of this and take a little mini tour of the interior of this ship. So here we are friends, we have come in through the docker and we find ourselves in the one by one companionway. And you can see why I like this companionway so much more than the storeroom. It just has so many more boxes and packages and immersive objects including flammable materials, biohazard materials, oxygen tanks. It just has so much more than the storeroom has, and that's why I like to use it. So then we drop down into the ca captain's quarters, which sort of continues the look of that companionway a little bit. And then you can see we have a little table there with a plant. Another little table here, some dry erase board and poster. Some other little science fiction-y elements our little bed there this the captain's quarters is quickly becoming my favorite one this hope tech captain's quarters i just i love the look of it inside and then of course we have our all important coffee maker and the caffeine poster i mean how do you even live without coffee let alone play a video game and then yep we got the captain's lavatory with the towel on the floor it looks nice and lived in and then we come through this hatch into the Bridge here, sorry, brain stroked out for a second, forgot the word I was looking for. And that is that. So it was a very brief tour, but it's a pretty ship inside and out. So without further ado, let's exit out of this and take a look at the 360 view of this ship. And there you have it, friends. There is the WCS Hera Quarry. I hope you liked this ship. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful and informative, and I look forward to seeing your own versions of this build in the Starfield Ships subreddit. Thank you for watching, good luck, and happy gaming. Bye bye